Hello, hello, welcome to Mr. Ait, and today's video I will show you how to set up how to get an RDP uh, for your, uh, I don't know, your social media work, for your uh, online blogging, whatever you are trying to do. This uh, service or this tool or this method is very known, is well known. A lot of you know this method. Uh, so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to spend like five, six dollars, and you are going to get a voucher of uh, 300. 400 in some uh, places and you are going to redeem it to try the platform and i'm pretty sure that a lot of you are using a uh, different car different names so we are going to do this multiple times unfortunately i don't have any free method right now beside this one here you will see it on the description if you are one of the subscribers i'm pretty sure you've seen the rdp that i shared a long time ago it's like a, a website you log in then you can do some uh, you have a linux and you can do a lot of cool stuff it's for free but this one you have to pay why because you have the full admin access you can do a lot a lot of stuff i don't know you can install softwares like me here you can scrap data uh, run bots whatever you like so how we can start so the first thing you want to do is i want you to go to the description you have a link you will sign up it's just like you're going to sign up to any platform name uh, email password etc and you will have a dashboard like this. So I'm uh, already used. I'm used uh, to uh, use the like a uh, digital ocean. Perfect. It works well for me. Over two years, I've been using digital ocean. But now a lot of you will be asking me how to use Bolter, how to use Bolter. Uh, okay, this is the way. So the first thing you want to do is you go to compute. Okay, so compute is basically where we'll have uh, the droplet equivalent droplet or instance here. So here they call them, I think, instance. So you click compute. The next step, you click deploy, deploy, and we will have this dashboard, a lot of stuff, weird stuff. So I want you to focus on what you are trying to do. So the beginning, I highly recommend you go to shared and you go to high performance. So for me, in my case, I do a lot of data scrapping, a lot of uh, mining online, collect data, uh, bots, etc. So what I like to do, I like to have two CPUs a minimum and at least four or eight gig of ram so we have two cpus here four gig of ram and the the bandwidth data it doesn't matter a lot so up to you here and you see they have a lot a lot of options so if you don't know what you are trying to do just copy my settings copy my options here then later you can upgrade and the next step is you want to choose which data center which server so it's very very important you don't want to do this like you open then you try to move the mouse that it, it's slow. Why? Because the server is very, very far from your place. Then you need a very good internet. I'm pretty sure you don't have a very good speed. So if you do, if your server is far away and you have a very low speed, internet speed, then it's going to be like this. Uh, 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 you will spend a while to, <laughs> to click here. So I highly recommend choose some uh, place server that is very, very near to your place. So in my case, I will click America, then I will go to Toronto. So for the sake of this video, I select Seattle because it confused me. Sometimes I may delete the right RDP. So let's do Seattle and uh, I will click configure software. So just to double check, the server is in the US, uh, 2 gig, uh, 2 CPU, 4 gig of that, 4 RAM, 100 gig of space, and I will disable the backup. You don't need the backup when you start. Anyway, you won't lose anything. You don't have anything valuable there. <laughs> so basically just disable it and click configure software. So now it's the important part. I just start using Volta. I don't know exactly how to upload, how to use my own ISO file, my own Windows. While using DigitalOcean, it was straightforward, easy process. But in Volta, I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to do it. So basically what we're going to do now, we will use Volta own operating system, Windows. So they have their own version, but the issue is you have to pay. So what we're going to do for now, we will use their own Windows. Then later, later, I will show you how we can do our own Windows uh, ISO file. So will you do this? When you click there, you click this one here, it will charge you around 28 bucks and total will be 52. So it's okay in the beginning, then later I will show you. When I learn how to do it, I will show you how. I think it's going to be easy like the digital ocean. I just need to read some documents. I'm kind of busy, so I'll do it later. So what we want to do is you want to label it. You want to call it something. If you have two, three uh, RDPs, you don't want to delete, remove, or work on the wrong one. So it's very, very important you label your uh, 
your RDPs. And you enable this one just to make sure that you have a pretty good uh, IP list stuff, weird stuff. And to double check, we have 52, we have the Titan, then we click deploy. Now it's going to be very, very easy to use it. Why? Because we are using their own operating system, their own windows. It's straightforward, just two, three clicks and boom. And how you log in, so we will practice on this one. This one is already installing. So you see here we have the server location and we have the operating system. So it's Windows. So we're just gonna do this. We can it's ready you out. It's fast. It's not even one minute. So we click here. And how to log in? You see this tiny computer here? You can just click on this icon. It will download this file. And you wanna copy the password and you go to the file and you do this and you click right click and you open with so if you have this remote desktop you can use it if you don't have it just go to microsoft store and download it if you don't have it or you don't have time you don't want to start it straightforward just click, click your remote desktop connection so whether you like it doesn't matter which option you use just click in one of them and you will have this page here click continue it will take a couple seconds because it's uh, the first time we open it, so it's loading. Initial remote. So something is off. Maybe it's still uh, still didn't set up yet. So we'll go to the other one. I don't want to waste your time, so we'll go here. I will copy the password. I will go back to the first file. Oh, it's being used. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Click here. Will prompt me this page. Say yes. Then it will ask me about the password. Then yes. I will paste it here. Then click connect. And boom. Voila. We have the RDP. It's working uh, like a charm. Now you can install software, install apps, whatever you like. You can collect data, uh, run bots, and uh, just stay around, stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. And the moment I know how to set up the, the uh, ISO file, uh, instead of using uh, Volter or Windows, I will share a video, share a guide, and you can uh, delete this, this one and create a new one where it's uh, kind of shiver. That's pretty much everything. Thank you very much. and see you in the next video.